So we got a question from Sarah in Tampa, Florida. Question is, Harley, I'm in a relationship. I feel trapped. I met a nice guy, single dad. He's got a couple of kids. I don't have any kids of my own. And we've been together for about two years. A year ago, I found the vegan diet. Family's not... They're supportive, but they're not too supportive. What should I do? This is like a basic... There's an A4 letter, but this is the basic gist of the, the letter here. They're asking, do I have for advice? Feels trapped. Feels trapped. What would I do? What would I do? What do you think I would do? I'd get the fuck out of there. But, I'm not you, you're not me. The, the person said that they, they felt like they couldn't talk about this with their partner. Either, there's two things going on here. Either... You think you can't talk, or you've tried to talk, but they don't want to listen. In that case, if you can't talk with your partner about important things of your relationship, you don't have a fucking relationship worth saving. That's my opinion. That's my opinion. If you don't want to have kids, then don't have kids. You can be a foster parent, whatever. That's this is a, that's a whole other video. But the, the sensation of feeling trapped, they're not supporting your diet as much as you'd hope they would. Welcome to society. Welcome to society. It's fitness. Whenever you want to do something better for yourself, the animals on the planet, be it fitness or better eating, you're always going to have resistance from your family. You're always going to have resistance from your workmates. You're always going to have resistance from the status quo. You might even have resistance from your actual self, your false self, your negative self. You can't do this. What do you think? Blah, blah, blah. So you're always going to have resistance, but resistance is good. So it's how you deal with resistance, is if you absorb it and become stronger, like a diamond in the rough. All that pressure, polish it off, man, it's a beautiful thing. But if you just let it be rough and succumb to the pressure, you fail. You fail in life. You get to age 50, 60, 80, and you go, fuck, where did life go? So you've got to follow your heart, man. If you feel trapped in a relationship, communicate your feelings, work on it. If that doesn't work, get the fuck out of there. You don't have to burn bridges, it doesn't have to be nasty, just say, look, it ain't happening, I'm packing my bags, I'm, I'm going tomorrow, see you later, done. Have the courage to say it ain't working, nothing personal, not hating, just saying, <laughs> but seriously, have the courage to say, it's not working for me, if it's not working for me, it ain't going to be working for you, if it's not working for you, it ain't going to be working for me, we're better off as friends, let's have a, a two year break, whatever. Email, contact, whatever. That's that's what I would do. That's what I would do. But hey, not everyone wants to live the Duran Rider lifestyle where your partner is basically like your sister and you got bred on some fruit farm, vegan fucking propaganda school, and you basically do the same things all the time. <laughs> like me and Freely, we ride bikes, we run, we eat the same food. If someone stole my food, it's fucking Freely. You know, we do the same shit, we're as messy as each other, so it's a real good unit, a good team fit. That's what you want to get. If you don't have that now, and you don't think it's possible, then get out of there. Now, the biggest tip I can give for relationships is don't start another relationship while you're in one to now. You've got to finish that relationship, clean slate, start another one, and learn from your experiences. Learn, learn, take notes, have a list of what you have to have in a fucking partner and be that. So many people go, oh, I want a partner like this and that. And I'm like, you'll never fucking get that because you're a gutless motherfucker who doesn't do nothing. There's two types of people in the world. People who do shit and people who don't do shit. People who take action and people who go, oh, I'm going to take action one day. People who talk about action. So be in the first group, taking action, have goals, have a list of what you want in a partner and fucking go out there and earn it. Carb the fuck up and get out there. A lot of people under carb so much that they just like they stay stuck in toxic relationships because they don't have the energy to get out of there. It's like you're in a you're stuck in a ravine, a, a, a massive ravine, a canyon. You don't have enough glucose to climb the fuck out of that thing. So carb the, when you carb the fuck up, sleep the fuck up, hydrate the fuck up, all of a sudden you're like, boom! I don't want to do this no more. It ain't working. It ain't fitting. I'm getting out. And you don't have to be mean about it, or it doesn't have to get too nasty, just, it ain't happening. I've had plenty of relationships in the past, so I'm like, this ain't happening, and it's the best thing ever to break up. It's the best thing for you, best thing for them. Because no one wants to be with someone who's a broken spirit, man. That's the fucking worst thing ever. And if you've got kids around, that's the worst thing to teach your kids. We you just stay in a relationship with the kids. Fuck that, man. 
My parents split up when I, when I was one. I'm glad they did because when they fought on the phone, that's the worst shit. Never fight in front of your kids. Just get, just get a divorce. Split up. Don't fight in front of the kids, man, because that's the worst thing you can do. I can go on about this forever, but uh, my personal mantra is only be in a relationship with someone you want to be with. And if you don't, get out. If they don't tick your boxes on the important things in a relationship, get out. Get the fuck out. What the fuck are you doing? Life's short, man. You can be dead tomorrow. Spend it with someone you really love spending time with versus spending time with someone where you daydream they were someone else. I wish my partner was fitter. I wish my partner was vegan. Or I wish my partner was on steroids or whatever. Go out there and get it. Don't settle for second best when it comes to relationships. You can't do that. Don't have a backup plan in relationships because you can have it with your food. But not relationships, man. Only get the best. Only get the best. And fucking earn it and work for it. Easy to obtain something, but to maintain it, you gotta work it, you gotta carb the fuck up, you gotta maintain that relationship. Bottom line, man, follow your heart, have the courage to say what you feel, and carb the fuck up, sleep up, hydrate up, so you've got the energy to keep pushing on. Big time. Don't make the mistake. Don't make the same fucking mistakes your parents made by sticking in a relationship they hated to be in, but they were scared what everyone else thought if they got divorced or split up. Fuck that, man. It's only your life, man. You're responsible for it. Fuck what everyone else thinks. Do what you want to do. Follow your heart. Be a person that is mature, responsible, and honest, and inspiring. Done. And just lastly, there's always the last bit. So many people marry someone or get with someone like a job or a student or a school, tertiary, whatever, they do it to impress their parents. That's the worst thing you can do. The worst thing you can do is get a job to impress your parents, but you fucking hate it. The worst thing you can get do is get with someone to impress your parents, but you don't really fucking connect with them at all. The worst thing you can do is do anything to impress your fucking parents, man. If your parents give a fuck about you, they just want you to be happy. Do the right thing. Follow your heart. So avoid getting the trap of doing something for your parents, marrying someone with you for your parents, getting a job for your parents, or doing things for other people more than you want it yourself. That's the fucking worst thing. That's called living a lie. Being fake. Being guilty of a wasted life. Once you hit a certain age point. No. Fuck that, man. Only do what you want to do in life. Only work in things you love doing. Only be with people you love being with. Only do things you love to do. 100%. 1,000%.